I'm Graham Johnson from the Port of Tacoma. Here's what's happening on Pierce County's working waterfront. As the new year begins, we're launching Working Waterfront to keep you connected with the port through these monthly video updates. 2024 will be busy at the Port of Tacoma, planning a new Port Maritime Center. The proposed location is along the Foss Waterway, right across from downtown. On a new campus, the port will build offices and Tacoma Public Schools will build a skills center called Maritime 253. The program will serve students from across Pierce County, teaching skills that can lead to maritime careers. The Port and School District held an open house in late November at Foss Waterway Seaport to get ideas from the community. I'm really excited about this new maritime program for the youth and the school that's going to just be opening up accessibility for our youth, specifically our um, underserved, underprivileged youth who are majority have never been out on the water. Uh, offering current and future generations the opportunity to learn about our industry uh, and the opportunities for maritime education is, is really exciting. We want to hear from you. At portmaritimecenter.com, you can visit our virtual open house to learn about the project and give your ideas for public amenities like waterway access and trails. Now to another big project. Planning is underway to deepen the Blair Waterway for larger ships. The Blair is home to several marine cargo facilities, including Tacoma's three largest container terminals. In December, the Port and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers signed a design agreement to deepen the navigation channel by six feet. With the industry building larger ships, deepening the waterway will help the port stay competitive. Extremely important for competitiveness and making the Pacific Northwest attractive. We obviously already have a deep water port, but we want to expand that capability. The port hopes to use clean dredge material to build a salmon habitat site in East Commencement Bay. That project could also help protect Marine View Drive from damaging waves during storms. At portoftacoma.com, you can watch our in-depth story on the Blair Waterway deepening. We invite you to sign up for our monthly email newsletter, Pierside, and to follow the port on social media. The Port of Tacoma's progress fighting climate change is getting high-level attention. Washington Governor Jay Inslee visited the port in November to see zero emission equipment like semis, transport vans, and tractors that work in a container yard. He also visited Husky Terminal, where work is underway on a shore power system so ships can plug in and shut off their diesel engines. It's most impressive and encouraging because what we have is some leadership in the port and the businesses and the local community getting together to decarbonize this system. Last summer, port commissioners voted to phase out greenhouse gas emissions under the port's direct control by 2040, accelerating the target from 2050. In December, the Port of Tacoma Commission elected new officers for 2024. Kristen Ang will serve as president and John McCarthy as vice president. Dick Marzano will serve as secretary, Don Meyer as first assistant secretary, and Deanna Keller as second assistant secretary. And that is why I did sign up for the gym, electrolytes, and some maybe some <laughs> mindfulness coming into this year and leading the Port of Tacoma. And I am very excited. Port of Tacoma commissioners meet at least once a month at the Fabulich Center off Port of Tacoma Road. Meetings begin at noon and public comment is always welcome. This winter, mussels are helping monitor water quality in Commencement Bay. Volunteers placed three cages of clean mussels at the Port of Tacoma in November, where they'll stay until February. It's part of a Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife program to analyze the tissue of mussels to check for contaminants. The port is a host site and has participated in the study for several years. Finally from us, a show of appreciation for truck drivers. Truckers play a key role in keeping cargo moving at the ports of Tacoma and Seattle. In December, the Northwest Seaport Alliance held appreciation events in both harbors, handing out sandwiches and saying thanks to truck drivers for all they do. Thank you for joining us for this inaugural edition of Working Waterfront. We'll be back next month.